Guys, this is the best time of the year. It's the election season. We got two presidents fighting for the seat, okay? This is gonna be amazing. We got Trump, we got Kamala. Everyone is so excited about it, right? That sounds about right. Everyone is so happy, supportive. Nobody hates anyone. There's no fighting. Everyone just like in love and support for their candidates and they don't hate on another candidate at all, right? Not, not none of that is happening. Well, you know how it is, but um, hey, you know what? We're gonna ignore that. There are people that are very passionate about Trump or Kamala and there's tons of listings on Etsy that already are selling political merch. So today we're gonna explore this topic. We're gonna discover, is it legal to sell political merch? And if so, how to do it properly and how you can monetize on this time of the year? Because right now, this is a low-key gold mine on Etsy. If you don't believe me, this is a gold mine. Let me show you some stats, okay? So we're gonna use Everbee to do a little bit product research, okay? And we're gonna type in Trump and Kamala and let's see how many monthly searches we're getting, okay? So let's start with Trump first. So the keyword Trump is getting almost 2,000 monthly searches, okay? So, uh, okay, that's actually not bad. Compare this, for example, to Clipart, okay? Clipart gets only 1,000 monthly searches. So Trump is getting two Okay, so clearly more people are looking for Trump t-shirts than for people that are looking for clip art. Now let's tap in Kamala and check this out. Jesus, she's getting way more traction. She's at a 5K almost, okay? So clearly people of Etsy have a bias, okay? And look, I'm not gonna tell you who is my favorite. Obviously I have a favorite, everyone does. And even people that say like, oh, I'm not political. Maybe you're not, but you for sure have a candidate. I'm one of these people that it's loved by both left people and right people. Even my group of friends is a mix of both sides. And honestly, I love them all. But when it comes to Etsy, I'm gonna explain to you why I think Kamala gets a higher search. And then it's because Etsy is mostly popular among women and most women gonna vote for Kamala. So that's why she's dominating the keyword searches on Etsy. And here's a couple of examples of Kamala t-shirts, okay? We're gonna look at them closely just in a second. But before I do that, I wanna talk about how legal it is to sell political merch. So I decided to do a little bit of digging into this. Here's a disclaimer. I might be completely wrong okay i'm not a lawyer and maybe the research i done is not as good as you want it to be so there's always a risk when it comes to selling this type of products however etsy released some sort of clarification lately when it comes to that and i'm gonna tell you how i understand their statement basically when it comes to selling political merch it is okay to do it as long as you are not selling anything that's copyrighted so for example you know like trump has make america great again you cannot say that that's his trademark phrase you cannot use that one okay you cannot sell anything that is calling for violence so let's say f word trump or f word kamala you cannot do that that's calling for violence it also includes anything discriminatory so if you're trying to discriminate democrats or republicans that's also something that you cannot sell and it also includes a religion or race basically just don't be mean jesus that's so simple also if you want to use the image of kamala or trump that's also kind of a great area you have to be careful even though they're public figures and there's so many images of them some of these images are copyrighted as well so you need to be careful with those ideally you want to pick the picture that's a blip it's like a public domain image that way it's going to keep you safe or honestly just stay away from images of trump or kamala at all and instead maybe use ai generated images of these characters because they are not copyrighted all right so with this out of the way let's look at some kamala's designs let's see what type of t-shirts are popular among her and i'm going to show you how to create one okay this is a classic that i want to show you 81 sales launch a couple days ago and this is called a bootleg t-shirt bootleg t-shirts are very popular this is perfect because i can show you how to create a bootleg t-shirts like this and i'm going to show you how to do it the safe way so to create a t-shirt like this we're gonna use kittle why kittle because kittle has a lot of bootleg designs that we can play with okay so i'm just gonna type in bootleg t-shirt and check this out they have so many different designs that they can pick and choose from okay i really like kittle because they have all the tools in one place if i want to create the t-shirts i have it here if i want to create a logo let's have it here so if you create print on demand products or digital products kittle is awesome 
highly recommend it. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this design and we're gonna modify it a little bit to create the bootleg Kamala design, okay? Okay, here, so here's our kitty. I'm gonna delete the kitty. Sorry, guy, you have to go. And then we're gonna modify the rest in a second. So we need her pictures, but again, remember about the pictures? They are tricky. Some of them you can use, some of them you cannot, but I'm just gonna create AI images of Kamala using Kittle AI. Kittle have a built-in AI where you can just type in whatever you want and it's gonna create that image of it and it's actually pretty good so let's say i want kamala harris for example and boom we got a picture of her but we still have some background so we're going to use the kittle ai background removal just to keep her without any background yeah perfect this is this is awesome okay we got one kamala but we're gonna add a little bit more spicy kamalas okay i'm gonna have one that, like she plays on the guitar or something and guys if you're a trumpster don't worry i'm gonna show you how to do with the trump too it just kamala is more popular on etsy that's why we went with her first okay yeah check this out this is what we want look at her playing guitar and stuff wow she's so cool Let's do Kamala Harris smoking cigarettes. I mean, she says she's a Brad queen. So uh, Brad Summer, right? Oh my God, this is, oh my God, I don't know. Listen, I'm too committed at this now. I need to finish this. Okay, so these are the results we got. Um, she looks very radical, as you can see. She's uh, She likes to party, okay? but. You get the idea. You can create these type of t-shirts. Besides her funny poses, I think this is pretty cool. Look at the fonts that Kittle has, okay? Kittle has very cool customizable fonts. So you can kind of design like, you know, how you want to set it up. It's really, really cool. And here I created one with Trump as well. And I used Kittle AI to make it as well. So you can create similar ones for Trump if that's your cup of tea. Now I've been selling political stuff for at least a month now. And I sell both print on demand products and digital products. And this is what I do. For the print on demand, I have a store dedicated to print on demand. I sell both Kamala and Trump t-shirts together. I was thinking maybe I should have a separate store for Kamala and for Trump, but honestly, I don't care. This is a seasonal item. I'm probably not going to keep it after the elections are done. So for the time being, it's fine. And I'm getting both sales for the Trump and Kamala t-shirt. And you know what's the funniest? That like sometimes people leave reviews and you can see a review. One is for a Kamala t-shirt and right next to it is a review for a Trump t-shirt. And both reviews are like, oh, I love my t-shirt. It's fantastic. I don't know. It's just funny to have them both next to each other. And then on my digital stores, I just sell designs for people that want to do print on the man. So when it comes to a product like this, you can put this on a t-shirt, but you can also sell it as a digital product as well. So here's an example of a digital product. So someone is selling this bootleg Kamala t-shirt for $2 and it got 159 sales in the last month. And here's someone selling it as a t-shirt. So you can go both routes. It doesn't really matter which route you want to go. You can actually do both if you just open two stores. And here's more designs with Kamala's. So I've seen this one right here when it has Kamala and it says like removes nasty orange stains. This one is tricky because it kind of is using a similar logo to like a famous cleaning supply that's popular it's a risky product i would personally not do it but this one for example that's just comma and laugh it's a very popular design there's so many of them and they do sell very well and i'm sure this is not copyrighted because i mean it's just a comma and the word laugh for example this one just sold 32 times and it's a brand new listing as well already got seven reviews for this okay this one right here where it says kamala harris 2024 i think this is a, a big no no because this looks like a barbie logo i would stay away from that one now when it comes comes to Trump, something like this should be okay when it says you missed. It's not using any copyrighted words. It's original design. It should be okay. And this is very popular. I like this one. This one's really funny. This one is okay too. It's using an AI image that just says Trump wearing a cowboy hat. You should be fine with that. This one right here where it says daddy's home. I think it's okay. I don't think this pink color and font is uh, related to anything. But like this one right here where it says MAGA, I think you cannot do that. I don't think you can say the word MAGA. I think this is copyrighted. Same with this one. I know this is a famous picture when he got shot, but I don't. I think this picture is copyrighted. So I would not sell anything with that image. As long as you stay on the safe side, you create original designs, use AI to create images and you don't use anything copyrighted you should be good political t-shirts sell very well and they're gonna sell for the next two months because things are just gonna get crazier here and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like let me know in the comments who you're voting for this year let's create some rivalry for the algorithm but that's it for today i'll see you next time take care bye bye